Hello everyone, how are we doing? Welcome to my channel. Today we want to discuss uh, breast cancer. Even though October was uh, breast cancer month and October had, has gone, but I still feel we should discuss breast cancer. Breast cancer being the most common uh, cancer in women and the second highest in terms of mortality or deaths from cancer. Breast cancer most times is not symptomatic. If there are symptoms, it may just be something like maybe a lump in the breast, a swelling in the breast, the thickening of the breast, nipple discharge. Sometimes it might just be ordinary discharge. Sometimes it might be bloody discharge from the nipple. Sometimes uh, on the breast, something that looks like the back of orange. Yes, if you see such a thing on your breast, just know that it's time to see your doctor. Like a wound on the nipple or anywhere on the breast. If you have a wound on your nipple or anywhere on your breast, please see your doctor. Sometimes it might just be like a swelling, even in the armpits, not just only in the breast. It might just be a thickening in the armpit or a swelling in the armpits. If you see such a thing, please see your doctor. Now, who is at risk of getting uh, breast cancer? What are the usually with breast cancer? You will say you don't really know exactly what may cause it, but there are risk factors. There are things that you will see. Okay, you say, oh, maybe this person might be at risk of getting breast cancer. Age is number one. Women who are above fifty years have a higher risk of getting breast cancer. That doesn't mean that people who are women who are below fifty years wouldn't have it. There are so many cases of women below 50 years with breast cancer. Another risk factor is history of breast cancer. If one has a breast cancer in one breast, there's likelihood that the person will develop a breast cancer in the second breast. Then another thing is family history of breast cancer or breast lesion. If maybe a mother or a sister uh, or especially first degree a family member has breast cancer, then there's risk of getting breast cancer. Then another risk factor is those who have been on uh, hormonal therapy or who have been exposed to estrogen uh, hormone. Maybe those who are on hormone replacement therapy, oral contraceptive pills that is combined with estrogen, and also those who, who have ovarian cancer because it's been related to estrogen as a hormone. There's a particular gene that is called BRCA1 and BRCA2. This gene mutation, if found in a person, then the person is likely to have breast cancer. Those who are on the big side or those who are obese, obesity has been associated with breast cancer. If breast cancer is detected early, it is as good as being cured. It could be cured if detected early. How can you detect breast cancer early? By trying to screen yourself. First form of screening is self-examination of your breast, breast self-examination. And how can you do this? In the morning before having your birth, just stand in front of a mirror, look at your breast, check whether they are, they are normal, as per size, if there's any change, if there is maybe one is bigger than the other, abnormally bigger than the other, check if the nipples are inside or they are outside. Because nipples being inside might be a sign of breast cancer, inverted nipples. After checking for your nipples, try to palpate. You can palpate while in front of the mirror, but it's better when you're inside your bathroom. You have a wet, uh, soapy hand. It's better you use it in palpating. You palpate all the quadrants. What do I mean by that? Palpate all the sides of the, the breast. Usually when, when you are doing examination, it's divided into four. One, this is the lateral upper end. This is the medial upper end. This is the medial lower end. And this is the lateral lower end. So you palpate them accordingly palpate and see if there is any change, if there is any lumpy thing you could feel there. Just check for any change. 
then if there is no change try to express using your two fingers try to express from the nipple if you could see any discharge usually if you have breastfed or you are a breastfeeding mother you expect there will be milk milk discharging you could express milk from the breast but if this discharge is maybe like pulse or the discharge is like bloody then it's time for you to see your doctor you shouldn't take any change in your breast lightly make sure whatever change you notice in your breast you try to see your doctor so that further investigation or examination could be carried out another form of screening is by going for a mammogram for a mammogram is like an x-ray of the breast whereby the breast tissue is x-rayed and then examined for any change that looks cancerous but sometimes it's not a, a definitive way of diagnosing breast cancer but if there are abnormal changes your doctor might send you for further investigation that will definitely diagnose if you have a breast cancer or other abnormal breast lesions or normal lesions then if is if if it happens that uh, there is risk or there is breast cancer in situ then your doctor will discuss your treatment options there might be surgery there might be a radiotherapy there might be chemotherapy different options are there apart from a screening breast cancer could be diagnosed using uh, maybe taking a biopsy from a lump you just noticed or taking a biopsy from any lesion in the breast and then sending it to the pathology lab to look out for cancerous cells this could also help in the diagnosis and most times it's also uh, definitive please if you notice any change in your breast go and see your doctor breast cancer is real and it's killing a lot of people especially women breast cancer could be found in males but it is very rare so it's commoner in females so if you are a woman even if you're below 50 please try and do regular breast self-examination so that you could notice if there is any change in your breast architecture early detection is better and cheaper than late presentation may god help us do not take this very softly thank you and do not forget to subscribe because we'll be doing a lot of topics and we're doing topics based on what people are sending to us to discuss but i decided to discuss this breast cancer issue because October was breast cancer month and it wouldn't be fair if I don't facilitate with those who have been on this journey, who have been struggling to live with, with this disease, who, who are survivors. Believe me, it is not an easy thing. But giving them your support will help them a lot to stay strong and come out strong. If you have anybody who has breast cancer or who has been battling this uh, deadly disease for some time, please support them. They need all the support you can give them. Please support them whichever way you can. Financially, psychologically, emotionally. It is not an easy journey. Please support them. And once more, thank you so much for watching. And do not forget to subscribe. Share the video so that as so many people will get this information. Thank you and God bless you. Bye.